Converse. The word converse can have multiple meanings depending on the context in which it is used. Here, we will focus on its two main meanings, as a verb and as a noun. As a verb, converse means to engage in conversation or to talk with someone. It implies a back and forth exchange of ideas or information between two or more people. When you converse with someone, you are actively participating in a discussion or dialogue. Here are a few examples. 1. I love to converse with my friends about current events. In this example, the speaker enjoys engaging in conversations with their friends about what is happening in the world. 2. During the conference, the participants will have the opportunity to converse with industry experts. Here, the verb converse is used to indicate that the conference attendees will be able to have discussions with professionals from the industry. 3. It's important to converse with your partner to maintain a healthy relationship. This sentence suggests that open and honest communication is necessary to keep a relationship strong. As a noun, converse refers to the opposite or reverse of something. It often describes a statement, idea, or situation that is the opposite of what has been previously mentioned or understood. Here are a few examples. 1. The converse of all cats are mammals is all mammals are cats. In this sentence, the noun converse is used to refer to the reverse of a statement. The original statement states that all cats are mammals and its converse is that all mammals are cats, which is not true. 2. The professor provided the converse of the theorem to demonstrate its validity. Here, the noun converse is used to describe the opposite or reverse of a mathematical theorem. By presenting the converse, the professor shows that the original theorem holds true. 3. The success of the project was the converse of what we had anticipated. In this example, the noun converse is used to express that the outcome of the project was the opposite of what was expected. In summary, converse can function as both a verb and a noun. As a verb, it means to engage in conversation. As a noun, it refers to the opposite or reverse of something.